What is happening everybody on YouTube? Carter here, got another video for you. We are doing a, I believe this is the Condor Valhalla Viking Axe in here. We're going to do a quick unboxing. I haven't done an unboxing in a while. Should be fun. There's also not a lot of videos on this particular axe on YouTube. Uh, so it'd be kind of cool to show it off in case somebody's wanting to get it. I know I've got a lot of questions about, um, you know, what the quality of the finish is, what it kind of looks like up close. I've only seen the the stock photos. So let's get into it. I'm going to pause this video and cut it open because it doesn't have a really good place to cut open, but I promise you I have not seen this yet. We're going to open it together. All right. All right, here we go. So we've got this side open. Pardon the noise. Got some bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. I don't know if there's anything in here. Oh, there we go. Put in all that bubble wrap, but then they put the axe on the very top so that if you got an impact on the top of the box, it would still damage it. But anyways, let's get this out of the way. So here it is. Now this one's pretty cool because it comes somewhat, I mean not customized, but it comes somewhat uh, embellished, I guess you'd say. Because a lot of people take the cold steel axes they carve in them, they wrap it up, they refinish it like I've done. This one kind of comes with some of that already on it. Now, first off the bat, first impression, I will say that these uh, little runes here are not as dark as I anticipated, according to the picture. But it is inset, so it's not, um, it does have uh, kind of a nice groove in there. Um, so what I may do is see if I can kind of stain this handle and bring out some of the colors there. Now let's get this off without damaging it. So it comes with a little hanger doodad right there, little pamphlet. This one's notable because it actually comes with a little sheath here. Ooh, just got some, some garbage on there. Head of the axe is nice and tight on there, at least as far as I can tell. Let's take a look at this finish. So you've got, uh, looks like casting marks, but it kind of looks, looks nice. We've got some rust on the edge there, not too bad. Clean that up. One of the negatives to this one is very deeply stamped. You have Condor El Salvador stamped right into the blade. So that's one of the big downsides to this particular axe. Uh, we've also got a set screw right here, which I prefer this location to the back, like the cold steel one, because you could actually do a leather crisscross wrap around here and just cover that right up if you wanted to. Sharpness, it's it feels like an axe. You know, it's quasi-sharp, convex edge right there. Back to the finish. Um, I'm curious what this is. It, it looks pretty good. But I'd suspect it's uh, just paint of some kind. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, honestly. Because uh, I, I kind of ordered this before I got my cold steel. And then I refinished my cold steel and made it look really cool. And uh, I somewhat regret buying this. Not because it's a, a bad axe or it looks bad. Uh, but I'd almost prefer just to buy another cold steel hand axe and refinish it in a different motif. Um, rather than spend the money on this, because this is uh, about double the price of the cold steel. In fact, a little bit more. And like I said, you do get some stuff on it already. However, I got to say I'm not overtly impressed with what you get. Nice bearded axe head right there. This stamping sucks, because um, as you can see, it's deeply embedded, so it's not like it's something you can remove. That is one of the downsides to uh, the Condor stuff is they tend to have very robust markings on them and uh, it's not something you can easily remove. But yeah, so this is it. Uh, this is the Condor Valhalla Axe. Um, I've seen uh, a performance video on this. It seems to perform quite well. The head of this axe is a little bit heavier than the Colt Steel one, but not uh, anything too, too crazy. Um, looks like a very serviceable axe. I will say that the 
shaft of this axe is a little thinner than most I've seen. You can see how there's the width that way, and then it really gets thin. It does feel pretty good though, like it feels good. Uh, one of the other downsides is I would like to wrap the handle in leather, but I don't want to cover up this nice engraving here. Uh, so it kind of puts me at odds on, on what to do in terms of if I want to refinish it. But we'll see. We'll see what I do with this. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, quick look, close-up look, Condor Valhalla Axe. Like I said, there's not a lot of videos out there on it, so I wanted to get something out there. Uh, you guys take it easy. Have a good day. I'll catch you next time.